Hi everyone! Last night I learned something huge from Tom Biu Yu, and I love to share with you today. Hi everyone! Welcome to Emily Leadership Podcast, where we talk about a variety of interesting topics, relationships, well-being, and personal growth. I'm your host Emily Zhang. Last night I had the privilege to attend the Impact Theory University Q and A session hosted by Tom Biu Yu. So one of his students has asked Tom, like, "Hey Tom." Today I found out that I got laid off, and she was trying to tell Tom how she was hoping to get back on track, and she was dealing with high level of anxiety to begin with, and Tom's response just totally blew me away, and I want to share with you today. So Tom goes, "Hey, congratulations! I'm so excited for you to start your next chapter in your life." You're gonna go through this incredible transformation, and you're gonna be intentional, and you will end up finding something that is more amazing and more aligned with what you truly want to do. And I was like, "Wow, that's just a brilliant, brilliant response." Because I remember when I got laid off, when I was going through a tough time at work, I was so negative. I was thinking about, oh my god, I'm so scared, and I don't deserve this. So you know, instead of like blaming others, I never look inside and how I can see this as a very good learning experience. So I was just like so shocked by Tom's response, and that's why I wanted to share this with you because Tom is right, right? Every single time when you're going through a change, a new transformation, it's never easy, right? It's uncomfortable. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to re. Reflect on what went well, in what areas we could have done better, and I think that's where you know personal growth is so important because you finally had the time to reflect and be intentional about what you want to tackle next, right? But sometimes one door is closed, the other opportunity opens up, and we oftentimes we see that as a negativity. We see that as like, oh man. This sucks. Instead of having that kind of narrative and telling yourself that kind of story, you could really do what Tom has proposed. Meaning, right? Like this is gonna be so exciting. This is gonna be a new way for me to approach my new job and where I can serve in a different area, right?、Um, and this is a great opportunity for me to. To work on my growth, become a better version of myself. So I just really love his response, and I think that's really comforting.、Um, and now, when I'm going through a tough time, I will see the transitioning as a new way for me to work on my personal growth,、um, to to really dig in and understand the meaning behind it. Instead of like, oh, why me? You know, like I don't like this.、Uh, that's not the mindset I wanted to have. Move. Moving forward, and I think this is really aligned with what I really want to talk about in my next story because I have manifested my dreams into reality. And one thing that I really want to share with you is that I actually spent two years、um, looking for a house in Florida, and I was so determined about my dream. I was like, "Yep, this is it. I'm gonna go all in."、Uh, but at the end, I end up renting versus buying, and I'm so happy with that decision. Even though at that time I didn't see that was the right thing for me to do, I was just、like, being so clouded with the idea of like. Getting a house, getting a house, getting a house. I mean, there's no right or wrong with that. There's no right or wrong answer whether I should get the house or not. But in hindsight, I'm so glad that I didn't get the house. I'm so glad that actually renting in this amazing neighborhood that I've always dreamed of. And this story really aligns with what Tom has said, right? Sometimes when you At the moment, you feel like, oh man, why can't I have this? Why I got laid off? Why I cannot have the house that I deserve? And it's not about whether you can or cannot. When you're going through something, sometimes there's a deeper meaning to it.、Right? Chose not to buy.、Um, I didn't see the full picture. I didn't fully appreciate what the universe has to offer. But then, in hindsight, I'm actually super excited, super grateful for the opportunity of not buying. 
because I live in the neighborhood that I have dreamt of, right? It was actually on my vision board where I wanted to live in this neighborhood because this neighborhood is perfect for me. Everything that I have dreamt of is right here, and I still have to pinch myself on a daily basis. Hey Emily, I can believe that you're actually living here, right? So it met my number one criteria. I just absolutely love living in this neighborhood. And the second thing is, if I have brought the house, it will slow down my process of reaching my financial freedom. You know, and of course, at that moment when I made the decision, I didn't think of any of that. But now I look back on it, I was like, "Wow, I'm so glad I didn't pull the trigger, because it was gonna, gonna slow down my process dramatically, right?" So、um, that's why I want to share this advice with you, because I learned it from Tom Bilyeu. I feel like sometimes, like we thought that we wanted something, but then universe was like, "Hey, hold on, there's something more amazing." It's Coming your way, and you're just so narrow-minded, right? And you didn't see it, but this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? When you're going through that transitioning, that transformation, wow, there's so much to learn in this period of time. And then once you get to the other side, you're like, wow, I'm so grateful for this opportunity because this is exactly where I need to be. So I just thought there's a a lot of wisdom. In this message that Tom Bilyeu has shared with his students last night, I'm able to see that in my personal experience,、um, and I wanted to share this with you today. So, thank you so much for tuning in and supporting my channel. I would love to share more wisdom with you as I continue to grow in this journey, and I love to continue to share my message with you. If you have any comments. Leave me a comment. I would love to connect with you. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.